Hi right, guys, this reading is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Placements. It is, it is a romantic love reading. So, as a split today, we have the Page of Cups and the Strength card. Okay, so, the my Holy Spirit. What romantic love messages do you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Placements? What romantic love messages do you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Placements? As always, guys, take only the messages that resonate with you and your particular situation. If it doesn't apply, let it fly, okay? But if it does apply to you and your situation, consider liking the video and sharing the video, subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. We would love to have you as a member of the Soul Tribe, okay? All right. Let's see how we got the World Card. The Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Nine of Baskets, Nine of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Strength card, and the Five of Coins. Okay. Overall energy of Seven of Wands is like y'all may have had to defend your decision to be alone for a while or to work on yourself and heal yourself to others uh, i feel like this is someone having to justify going through a healing journey to someone or some people who just don't get it uh you might be around a group of friends or family members or whoever a group of people who don't understand virgo placements why you feel the need to heal from previous relationships uh, they were toxic. I feel like you don't have to explain anything to anybody, but I feel like you're getting a lot of pushback on it, okay, on your healing journey. Whatever the case may be, you guys are trying to move forward, even though you're, you might have been sowing some seeds in the past into the wrong connections. I feel like you're, those seeds that you used to try to sow with other people, you're planting and and trying to harvest things for yourself, heal yourself, and move forward, okay, by yourself. I feel like for some of y'all, it might have made you more decisive, not cold, but more discerning in how you deal with other people. And I feel like you're getting a, for some of y'all, you're getting the hang of being alone and being fulfilled within yourself with the Nine of Cups here, okay, Virgo Placements. I feel like you're not only enjoying your own company with the Nine of Cups, you're enjoying the company of family members and friends who support you, okay, as the daughter of coins, whether you be a divine master or divine feminine. I feel like for some of y'all, as you are trying to be around family, friends, close loved ones, whatever the case may be, close friends, you always have that one group of people who were like, oh, so why are you not married? Or why you don't have children? Or this, that, and the other. And that's really getting on your nerves for a lot of you guys. I can pick up on that with their four of cups energy. I feel like you're really feeling like these people need to mind their own business. It's like you're really holding back from telling them, like, you're not happy. So why are you worried about, why are they worried about you for some of y'all? I feel like you just want to basically focus on yourself and build yourself back up. Uh, you want a reciprocal connection. You don't want a connection where a person is always in the give me mode. And, and I mean, you're always trying, having to give to them. And they're always taking. You want something that's reciprocal. I feel like you are ten toes down on this and you're not uh, backing down. You want a reciprocal love. You want a spiritual love. You want a love that is equally yoked and balanced. Because you've had connections in the past that were not, if we're going to be honest, up to par and up to your standards. Or you had a particular person you were dealing with who was not meeting your needs in any way. But you dealt with them and stuck it out with them because people were like, oh, that's what you should do. Or they sub either consciously or subconsciously, verbally or non-verbally. Uh, how should I say, cosign you being with someone who really wasn't good for you. I feel like you're really 
rising out of that energy and realizing you're worth more and you're stronger than that. You're more resilient than that. I feel like as a result of that, somebody's going to get left out in the cold, okay? Um, I feel like at one point you might have felt like this, but I feel like now the people that you dealt with, with in the past, you're cutting them off. You're like, nope. Whether it be old romantic partners who were very selfish and didn't care about you the way you cared about them, whether it be old friends who didn't care about you the way you cared about them or didn't give to you how you gave to them, whether it be uh, selfish family members who really didn't care about you the way you cared about them, whatever type of relationship that did not fulfill you where you tried to sow seeds and you were left with the short end of the stick and no harvest, I feel like you're cutting them off. You're cutting it out, you're cutting them off at the knees, and you're moving forward, okay? And you're blocking that energy, okay? And focusing on you. Okay, let's see here. Let's see what additional advice or guidance spirit has for the red So I'm on rising and Venus placements. Additional advice. Why am I hearing Bon Jovi in these arms? So somebody might be listening to that song. I don't know. Okay, so some of you know this is brotherhood. True brotherhood is valued and respected. The support and guidance of someone's brother or male friend, whether physically or spiritually, should be considered. So y'all might have a brother, brother figure, or a friend who is giving you guys some advice on how to proceed. And they're giving good advice. They're not one of the people that you have to block out. Okay, so let's see here. Any additional messages for Virgo? Yeah, toxic behaviors. Like I said, y'all are healing from this, okay? So it says, this card signifies that someone is exhibiting toxic behaviors. Maybe... Is family members who don't support you being on a healing journey, being by yourself and working on yourself. So it says this card signifies that someone is exhibiting toxic behaviors. Toxic behaviors can look like yelling, manipulation, self-sabotage. You may be <laughs> abuse, neglect, and so on. Seek mental, emotional, or physical help. So for a lot of y'all, like I said, you're, you, you're on the healing journey and you may be doing it and people might be asking you constantly why you doing it why you need to do that it's not their business but you know people are pushy people are nosy so yeah so let's see anything else yeah this is from a relationship you might have Taurus placements this might be from that toxic behavior stuff or uh, in addition to people asking you why you're trying to heal yourself, it might be because you engaged in a relationship like this. Uh, hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll see what they say. I'm going to let y'all read it. Hold on. So, for those of y'all who can't read it, it says friends with benefits. Someone may be interested in an intimate connection with no strings attached. Be prepared for all that may be in store. Some of y'all we're just dealing with that and it got to be a bit much um this person might have gotten to be a little bit more toxic uh than what you expected or vice versa take it how it resonates and you weren't ready for that and now i feel like you're just blocking them for some of y'all y'all literally blocked them on the phone for some of y'all y'all did that and you just straight up told them you can't deal with that type of behavior you're not dealing with that you're not putting up with that and you're trying to move forward. That's just is what it is. And that five of pentacles confirms it. It's like everything, like when you wanted more, they said no. And then when you decided to choose yourself and move forward, then they got an attitude problem. Then they got a problem where they want to yell, scream, and do all that chaos and confusion. And you're not with it, okay? Do what's best for you. Use your own discernment and trust your own intuition. First and foremost, focus on healing you. Focus on making sure that you are safe and moving forward in a healthy manner, okay? 
Virgo placements. So that is all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.